Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Tuesday, March the 24th, and today we celebrate the life, the ministry, and the martyrdom of Oscar Romero and his companions in El Salvador. Here is his story from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. Oscar Romero was born on August the 15, 1917, in San Salvador. At the age of 12, he was apprenticed to a carpenter, but was later able to attend seminary. His family's economic circumstances forced him to withdraw to work in a gold mine. Ultimately, he entered another seminary and was eventually sent to the Gregorian University in Rome to study theology. After his ordination to the priesthood, he returned to his native land, where he worked among the poor, served as an administrator for the church, and started an Alcoholics Anonymous group in San Miguel. When he was appointed a bishop, radicals distrusted his conservative sympathies. However, after his appointment as Archbishop of San Salvador in 1977, a progressive Jesuit friend of his, Rutilio Grande, was assassinated, and Romero began protesting the government's injustice to the poor and its policies of torture. He met with Pope John Paul II in 1980 and complained that the leaders of El Salvador engaged in terror and assassinations. And he also pleaded with the American government to stop military aid to his country, but this request was ignored. Romero was shot to death while celebrating Mass at a small chapel near his cathedral on March the 24th, 1980. The previous day, he preached a sermon calling on soldiers to disobey orders that violated human rights. He had said, a bishop will die, but the Church of God, which is the people, will never perish. The Roman Catholic Church declared him a servant of God, and he is honored as a martyr by many Christians worldwide. Almost nine months after Romero's assassination, four Mary Mole nuns were also killed in the course of their duties by the El Salvadorian army, and nine Jesuit priests were similarly murdered in November of 1989. A statue of Romero stands at the door of Westminster Abbey as part of a commemoration of 20th century martyrs. Let us pray. Almighty God, you called your servant Oscar to be a voice for the voiceless poor and to give his life as a seed of freedom and a sign of hope. Grant that, inspired by his sacrifice and the example of the martyrs of El Salvador, we may, without fear or favor, witness to your word who abides your word, who is life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.